Hello, I'm Professor Srinivasan and I'm back again with another video on something called as sovereign gold. green bonds. Now today's financial dailies contained an article on the front page where it was mentioned that the government of India for the first time is going to issue what is called as sovereign green bonds. So let us try to understand what do we mean by the sovereign green bonds. Sovereign green bonds are bonds issued by the governments to raise funds for the purpose of financing environmentally friendly projects. Now these projects may include renewable energies, energy efficient projects, clean transportation and so on. The proceeds of these bonds issue are going to be used exclusively to fund these kind of green projects. And the bonds are typically issued with the goal of reducing greenhouse emissions and promoting sustainable development. Sovereign green bonds may be issued by national governments or by the local authorities or by the state governments. And these bonds may be denominated in a variety of currencies. Of course, when we are talking with respect to India, these bonds are going to be rupee denominated bonds. And investors in these kind of bonds can expect to receive either a fixed or a variable rate of return depending upon the terms of issue of these bonds. Now with the growing awareness of the environmental impact of development, the governments of various countries are taking certain concrete steps to encourage investments or financing projects which are environmental friendly. Now, the environment impact of development could obviously be positive and negative. And it is important for us to consider and mitigate potential damages on account of these negative impacts. Now, some of the common negative impacts are habitat destruction, pollution, climate change, depletion of natural resources, and so on. The government of India, on its part, has taken the initiative of issuing these sovereign green bonds essentially to fund environmentally friendly infrastructure projects and these are going to be public sector projects. To give you a backdrop, the expected borrowing of the government for the current fiscal is in the range of 14.2 trillion which by itself is a record high. The government has earmarked 16,000 crores to be borrowed by way of issuing sovereign green bonds. And these issuance are to be made in two tranches. The first tranche of issue is scheduled on January 25th. Now the issue on January 25th is going to be for 8,000 crores of which 4,000 crores is going to be of a five year sovereign bond and another 4,000 crores by way of issue of 10 year sovereign green bonds. And the second tranche is scheduled on Feb 9th which is again for 8,000 crores of which 4,000 crores will be by way of 5-year bonds and another 4,000 crores by way of a 10-year bond. Now these bonds, although designated as a sovereign green bond, they have almost all the characteristics that a normal sovereign bond would carry. That is, these are eligible for repo and reverse repo. These are eligible for SLR instruments. These would be traded on the secondary market. And further, these would also be eligible for trading on a when issued basis. Now, the general practice worldwide is that these kind of bonds tend to be issued at a premium. That means they would give a slightly lower return to the investors. And the objective of this is that environmentally friendly projects should have access to funds at a cheaper cost. Of course, for these kind of bond issuance to flourish in the future, it is very important for the Indian government to provide a trading ecosystem whereby these kind of bonds would frequently and actively be traded because only if these bonds are traded frequently would more and more investors tend to invest in these bonds. Now these bonds are going to be issued under the auction process whereby the pricing methodology followed would be the uniform pricing method with a 5% reservation for the retail investors. I certainly hope to see more such kind of issues to come up in the future because 
we need to be constantly be taking steps to reduce or mitigate the environmental impact of the reckless development that is happening across the world and these kind of bonds would definitely go about encouraging environmentally friendly project well that's all for today if you like this video please do share this video and do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified every time i post a new channel take care bye and ciao